Welcome everybody, we're here to talk about the stun grenade today, and it's fascinating science. Here with us today, it's a grand opportunity, it's Philip Gold! Okay, uh... Hello, it's Philip Gold, and um, I'm here to talk to you about stun grenade. Yeah, and, um, here we go. It's an explosive ordinance that, when detonated, produces a high decibel bang, a bright light, and pressure. Lots of it. It does not have any sharp nose. Wow, that's just amazing, Philip. That's why I guess you got the golden speaking in Olympics. <laughs> oh. Okay, what else you got for us, Philip? Well, I've got a bunch more. Okay, the M84 non-lethal stun grenade is a non-lethal, low-hazard, non-sharp note producing explosive device intended to confuse, disorient, or momentarily distract potential threat personnel. <sighs> the device produces a temporary in to threat personnel or innocent bystanders. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. This device will be used by military personnel in hostage <laughs> situations and in the capture of criminals, terrorists, or other adversaries. It produces co commanders a non lethal capability. <laughs> Today, now that we're back, we've got another special guest, Corey Holt. Yes, Corey Holt, the amazing. He's going to be a narrator for the other half of our talk about stun grenades. Hey, Corey, how are you doing today? That's great. Okay, well, I'm doing pretty good. Sorry for not answering, and I was getting too into my sit-ups, but... The M84 stun grenade contains a minimal amount of explosives, and, when initiated, produces aluminamine through oxidation, burning, of the components of the charge. Some non-toxic smoke is produced in mineral amounts. In minimal amounts, my bad. In the event of grenade functions premature... In the event when the grenade functions prematurely, or bounces back when tossed, the user can feel the effects of the grenade. Approved eye protection should be worn when employing the M84 stun grenade to preclude possible damage to the eyes. The grenade, when initiated, produces an intense bang. The noise level will be above 170 decibels within a 5 feet of initiation. The user must wear approved single hearing protection when applying the grenade in the event of a premature function or bounce back when tossed. The activation of the M84 should not ignite paper or cloth. However, other hazardous materials such as Volatile fumes in the space where the grenade will detonate should be considered prior to tossing it in a closed structure. And, well, that's all I have for you tonight. So, good night from Las Vegas. See you later. Okay, Philip. Welcome back after that commercial break. Now, what exactly does the flashbang do? Okay, well, um, this is a great game called Duty. And it's really going to help us show how the flashbang works. And now the top screen is going to be throwing the flashbang. And the bottom screen is going to be the victim. He is going to be losing in parity of sight and vision. Just the same thing. That's why I'm an Olympic speech. Okay, here we go. Watch the bottom screen first. It will be throwing, I mean the top screen first. It will be throwing a grenade. Now watch the bottom screen. He lost complete vision and then victim can come stop him. That is how a flashbang works. Jeez, I can't get those guys out. I'm gonna have to use a flash grenade. Watch this. Watch, 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 yeah! Don't let him break the ball! 